hello everyone welcome to this session today in this session we are going to know about partition walls which are used in the construction as you are aware that partition walls are non load bearing walls which are used to separate the space uh, which is intended in the construction now there are various types of partition walls which are used in the construction now the space inside a building has to be subdivided into rooms to serve different functions this is carried out by partition walls it ensures privacy and may also provide insulation against heat and sound opening with lower leaves are uh, provided in this uh, partition for going access the partitions can be permanent or sometimes as in offices it may be desirable to have a system of internal divisions which can be shifted to suit the possible changes uh, in the use of uh, use pattern of uh, the spaces they could be folding or sliding type also they normally extend from the floor to ceiling but uh, in some offices low partitions are used to afford the limited degree of privacy they could uh, be solid hollow or lowered partitions can be opaque transparent or uh, translucent internal load bearing walls also serve the purpose of partitions non load bearing partitions can be constructed from a wide variety of materials the choice uh, would depend on number of factors such as thickness weight sound insulation cost ease ease of construction necessity to shift decorative treatment and fire resistance for support of non load bearing partitions like half brick masonry there should be adequate adequate structural arrangement now what are the various advantages of uh, partition walls it divides the whole area into number of rooms it provides privacy uh, to the inmates from sight and sound these are right uh, light in weight and cheaper in construction occupy less lesser area easily constructed in any position now what are the requirements of a good partition wall it should be thin in a cross section so that maximum floor area can be utilized it should provide uh, adequate privacy in rooms both in respect of sight and sound it should be constructed from light sound uniform homogeneous durable and sound insulated materials it should be simple in nature uh, easy and economical in construction having proper coherence with the type of building structure it should offer sufficient resistance against fire heat dampness white ants or uh, fungus etc it should be rigid enough to take the vibrations caused due to loads strong uh, enough to support sanitary fittings and heavy structure so these are some advantages and the requirements of a partition walls now let's have the glance on the various types of partition walls now the partitions can be divided broadly into two categories made from the blocks and slabs laid in suitable mortar made of boards sheets etc under the first category fall partitions made from the bricks cement concrete blocks burnt clay bricks gypsum blocks these are normally self supporting if confined with permissible spans and heights the latter category consists of several types of constructions made of wooden panels plywood gypsum boards lath and plaster hard and soft fiber boards metal sheets etc 
these partitions are framed with timber metal or concrete frames the sheets being fixed to one or both sides by means of screws nails clamps and other means alternatively these partitions can be built of construction type fabricated in type in factories so here you can see the a uh, view of a fact this particular uh, partition walls okay so the material which is used for the partition wall that may differ so nowadays various uh, types of blocks are present concrete blocks are present lightweight concrete blocks are also present for the partitions now let's see regarding the brick partitions so you can see the view here the bricks can be of the various types which are used for a temporary partition these are constructed to half brick thickness by laying the brick bricks as the structure the mortar can be of lime or cement generally the mortar used in a sand cement mortar 1 is to 3 or 1 uh, is to 4 mix the walls are plastered on both sides or sometimes these are also kept as a uh, for decorative purpose as it is uh, directly which are uh, view available for added strength reinforcement can be provided as uh, indicated uh, in the reinforcement brickwork this type of partition is extensively used in the buildings and easy to construct along with the uh, brickwork in the rest of the building it has good sound insulation and fire resistance properties the earlier practice of providing timber frames called nogging and constructing the brickwork within uh, is not uh, now not so popular block partitions so you can see the various types of block nowadays uh, concrete blocks or uh, hollow brick blocks picorex blocks so many types are available which can be used for the block construction this can be built from the various types of blocks in the suitable model and generally uh, 10 cm in wide the distance between the supports uh, uh, for these partitions in the vertical or horizontal direction whichever is smaller should not be more than 48 times the thickness of the blocks if required a reinforcement as a reinforced uh, brickwork can be provided in both sides of uh, plastered hollow burnt clay blocks can also be used for the partitions they are comparatively lighter being only uh, about 40 to 50% uh, the weight of a solid block wall of same thickness and provide good sound insulation other materials like gypsum gypsum block wood wool slabs etc are also used timber partition wall so you are uh, observing the view here so if for the timber wall, uh, wall so you can see likewise this uh, vertical Uh, members are provided which are called as struts which are supported by these uh, nog noggins and uh, also being supported from the thread and seal provided there and there after uh, the view can obtained by the providing the uh, proper uh, support to that so um, timber partition walls or uh, partitions of a seated material uh, the framework of a wooden partition wall consists of a rigid arrangement of uh, timber members which may be plastered or covered with boarding etc from both the sides such type of partition walls is not fire resistance uh, and uh, the timber forming the partition wall is likely to decay or being uh, eaten by away by ants nowadays the use of timber partition walls is decreasing due to its high cost as well okay but in uh, this uh, timber partition wall the view or the elevation obtained is better 
but because of the increasing cost nowadays uh, the other partitions walls are becoming very popular now here also you can see <coughs> a typical uh, construction of a timber partition wall where you are uh, you are observing the this uh, various uh, uh, heads tensions and then uh, wedges which are applied to keep the parts in the position noggins the types the various uh, types have been also you can see the dimensions have been also mentioned which are generally used for in the partition also the various uh, packing pieces are required to keep this partition wall in the position so the conventional timber partitions uh, known as stud partitions are constructed of 100 by 75 mm heads and seals with vertical members of studs of 75 by 38 mm or 100 by 50 mm framed uh, at about 400 mm centers horizontal timber members called uh, as noggings of size 100 by 38 mm timber boards are nailed on the both sides of frame and painted or polished uh, stiffen the stubs other sheets like gypsum plasterboard fiber building board plywood plywood particle board block boards ac sheets j sheets can also be used uh, with the timber frame also all uh, portions of the timber built into or uh, again masonry or concrete shall be given two coats of uh, coal tar all uh, woodwork shall be painted with approved wood primer the framework for uh, fixing the sheets can also be light steel sections partitions with uh, sheets are light in weight and hence can be put up directly over the slabs uh, they are easy to install and can be dismantled uh, without any difficulty now nowadays the most uh, popular becoming the partition walls of the aluminium particle particle walls you can see here so these are provided with the this this uh, partition you can see in the preparation the part aluminium partition wall which is in the preparation so these are the members which are having uh, partition or the aluminium members where the this interspaces can be filled with the various materials that means can be where uh, aluminium sheets are there sometimes the glass are also used here as uh, it is used here in this case so these particles are also attractive and uh, also free from the uh, attack of the white ants now uh, regarding the aluminium partition walls these are light in weight fireproof and strong they are easy to construct and shift uh, insulated material uh, is filled into hollow spaces used for the office and industrial buildings now here you can see the various uh, innovative material that can be used for uh, preparing the partition walls so where you can uh, use the combination of the materials so lot of uh, materials which are av available nowadays so in this uh, various views you can observe what combination can be made so here you can see uh, the combination of a plywood and glass material has been used here for the partition walls so which is very attractive also nowadays color coated material is available so which makes the partition walls very attractive so these particular uh, sheets are available or these boards are available uh, in the different uh, coated material as well sometimes uh, straw uh, boards are also available for the partition walls okay now uh, here the wall which is uh, under construction uh, with a plastered material 
this particular view shows uh, how a glass uh, partition can be used for a better purposes some aluminum material with a different uh, look that can be used so friends uh, today we have discussed regarding the various types of partitions which are used in the construction but nowadays also will it is necessary to keep watch on the various materials which are arriving in the market because uh, the regular partition walls or you can say the partition walls which are already in use for example timber partitions plywood partitions concrete uh, block partitions or uh, brick partitions okay these are the uh, custom uh, types of partition but apart from that nowadays there are so many innovations are there so we are going to uh, uh, keep constant watch on this upgradation of the these materials so uh, you are also requested to keep uh, a view on the market updates okay so thank you very much for joining this session